Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be working on this uh, 2009 Chevy Avia again. Uh, I'm not going to go into complete detail. I'm just going to give a, a little short guide. Basically, I changed all the lights in these because I couldn't see. I'll actually try to turn these on for you. There you go. And the lights that I originally had in these were just stock and all these bulbs would burn out. I had some LED lights for a 97 Honda Civic. And that's, that's the only thing I had, so I ended up customizing it to make it work. Uh, maybe another day I'll show you how I did that, but just for today, I'm actually just going to show you how I took this off. Show you the four screws there is holding this CD player in, and then there's four screws holding this in. Which I got to pull this out just a little bit to put two screws back in it that I left out, because I just wanted to try it make sure this all worked. And then I'll show you... Um, how to put it all back together. Just something real quick that if you guys are struggling on trying to figure out how to take it out, at least you have this video. Now taking this cover off can be quite difficult. Basically I have these tools, pry tool, and I jam it kind of in between the heater control and this CD player. So once that's jammed in there, it actually creates a little bit of a space. When you have that space in there, I take a screwdriver, which you just got to be careful, and you put in between that space, and you pry down to that corner pops out. Now that's probably one of the hardest parts. Now this, this is in there pretty tight, but basically all I do is just go along here, and I'll pull as I go, and you see how it's starting to come out, and you just do it all the way around the corner. And since I, you know, I'm kind of videotaping alone, I can't do it with one hand, so I'll show you the aftermath. So there it is, once you get the cover off, and as you can see, it's just clips all the way around. And you have to be kind of careful because it will start cracking. And you see right there, it's kind of old. Like It's only 2009, but I guess where the heat sets, it kind of cracks it, but no big deal. And then if you need to take your CD player out, here's where it is. Where it is. You got one, two, same on the other side, three and four. You unscrew them, and this whole CD player comes out. You have two connectors on the back, one, two, and then on this side, on the very back, you have your uh, antenna outlet, which just pulls right out. But what we need is right here, these two screws is the top for this heater control. Now your bottom ones are down here. Let me get some light down here for you. Try to, anyway. Well, maybe? Okay. So basically, you're going to pull out this ashtray, this little flap, push this down, ashtray comes out. Now you're going to need to take this piece out right here, which is simple, it's just two clips, but you want to tug on it on the corner here, comes right off. Now the other two bolts you need to remove is right here and right here, and this will allow this whole piece to come out. Okay, so once you got all four of them screws out, it basically just has two clips, one right here and one right here, and they're not very strong, so you basically can just pull on this very lightly, and they pop right out. Now, once you get inside of here, which gets you some light, there is two cables in here. One's right there, you can actually see the other one is down here, it's where that little yellow piece is. And your connectors are in here, which I'm going to try not to take all this apart because it can be a pain. And maybe if I'm requested, I will show you guys that. But until then, I'm not going to. I'm basically going to sneak in behind here with my little tiny screw driver. If I can find it, I will show you. This is what I'm using. It's just a tiny little wrench. I'm going to try to sneak back in there, put these screws in, put it back together, and call it a day. So... Let's get to it. Okay, so I know it's going to be kind of hard to see. I'll try to get you in here as close as I can. If it ever focuses. But basically, there's a screw. Right? 
I'm trying to get you guys in here. It's kind of hard. But there's a screw right there where this white plastic meets this black plastic. You can kind of see it right there. And that's the screw I missed on both sides. And luckily enough, like I said, I was able to sneak in there and put that screw back in. I'm going to work towards the other side. But I just want to let you guys see these connectors. But you have one right here, one right there, and you also have one in the center right there that you would remove to pull this whole piece out. Well, you're in for a little bit of a treat because I cannot get that other screw in, so i got to take it all off. But basically right there, that yellow piece is connected to this cable that controls your uh, cold and heat knob. So basically what I'm going to do is take this pick I have, which you can get at Walmart and Harbor Freight, and I'm just going to jam it in between these two and pull, and it will lift this up out of here. And once that happens, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little round hook. You just push them two tabs in, and this little eye hole, little eye hole right here just kind of slides up off over, and you're done. So I'll pull this out and show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so it took some finesse, but we finally got it out. We get a light in here for you. Okay, you can see right there where it's sitting in this holder. Right there in this black piece right here is your holder. To make it easier for you, I'll get my little pick to point at it. Right here, that's your holder. That's your yellow piece that just pops out of the inside of it. And try to get you to see, here's your hook or your eye hole. So we're doing this with one hand. Kind of get the gif. So just, just a hole there, and it just slides. Your, your cable slides in between here, and then your eye hook goes over top of this piece, and you're done. But that's how basically how you take it out. I should only need to have to take one side out, but I'll show you guys your other side here. It's the same thing, but only different. It's upside down, but you still have. Your eye hook, which my light's a little messing with the camera, but you got your eye hook right there. You just pop this eye hook off. That's a little bit of a better view. But right here's this piece I was telling you your wire goes through. And here is your eye hook that goes over top of your fitting. Basically, you just pop that off, pop this out. And this one's actually a little easier. You can push down in between these two little ears, and it'll actually push that out. And if it gets stuck at all, you can actually push out here as you're pushing down on this cable. And it'll help make it come out even instead of on an angle. And it drops right out. But hopefully I don't have to go this far. I just need to get this cable off to pull it out a little further. Get my other screw in. And I should be good to go. And there it is. There's the other screw I needed. Kind of right there. And now I got it in. I can go ahead and put that back together. And throw it in. So I'll show you that too. There you go. It's all back together. Just pushes right down in there. You put the eye hook, hook on and you're good to go. So now all you gotta do is push this back in, put some screws in, and I'll show you the finished product. Oh, sorry guys, there went your light. There you go. And then last but not least, here's your missing light again, but here's your ashtray. Just slides right in there like that. And there you go. All back together. Good to go. Now this isn't a very hard thing to do, but it is kind of time consuming because you can break stuff and it's kind of tight to get into, but you can do it. <laughs> I have faith in you guys. Like, I understand you watch these videos because you need a little help with it. 
but that also means you work on it yourself. So that means you guys can do it. So I'm hoping I can help you guys figure out the little stuff that you're confused about. But after that, it's all you guys. You have it, and I'm proud. So here it is. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be working on this uh, 2009 Chevy Avio again. Uh, I'm not going to go into complete detail. I'm just going to give a, a little short guide. Basically, I changed all the lights in these because I couldn't see. I'll actually try to turn these on for you. There you go. And the lights that I originally had in these were just stock, and all these bulbs would burn out. I had some LED lights for a 97 Honda Civic, and that's, that's the only thing I had. So I ended up customizing it to make it work. Uh, maybe another day I'll show you how I did that, but just for today, I'm actually just going to show you how I took this off. Show you the four screws there is holding this CD player in, and then there's four screws holding this in, which I got to pull this out just a little bit to put two screws back in it that I left out because I just wanted to try it, make sure this all worked. And then I'll show you um, how to put it all back together. Just something real quick that if you guys are struggling on trying to figure out how to take it out, at least you have this video.